Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you three factors that are more likely to contribute to the existence of my SQL cannot add foreign constraint key error. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is that when it happens sometimes, um, you know where to look and have this issue sorted quickly. Uh, this error can be caused by a number of factors, but at least in my situation there's these three factors that are more likely to be the cause of the problem. Um, factor number one, you need to verify that uh, both the table columns, uh, the referrer and the one that is being referenced, are both defined with the same data type. What this means is uh, the, the, the primary key from the master table or from the parent table, uh, uh, the, its column must have the same data type as the column of the uh, foreign key that is trying to reference it. Uh, to show you what I mean here, uh, I use uh, my SQL um, SQL Pro. Uh, I use SQL Pro. Uh, here is uh, a view of my database. I go to um, the orders table. I have to look at the ID, which is the primary key that is going to be the master table um, or the parent table. So I look at this ID, and I must make sure that the type is int. Okay, uh, or, or, or in otherwise. I have to make sure that the type int is going to be the same type as the foreign key uh, column that I'm trying to make the child table. So in this case, it's the order ID. It should be the same type. So in my case, uh, the primary key column from the order table and the, and the foreign key column in the order item, they both have the same data type. That shouldn't be a problem. We should be able to create the foreign key constraint uh, in this case. So issue number two that we need to look out for is uh, we need to verify that both table and their columns have the same collation. Um, this means that uh, both tables should, be, um, should use the same collation. If, if, if the parent table is using UTF-8, the child table should also use UTF-8. And mind you, even the columns should have the same collation. You know, tables might have the same collation, but find that the columns have different collations. So we need to verify that also. In my S, uh, in SQL Pro, you can check that through um, the table information, at least this is the way I know, and uh, you would see that the collation for the table for the other items is Latin, the Latin one, and it's even shown here. And when I check the orders table, I'll see that the collation is also the same. So that means at least for these two factors, everything is good to go. We should be able to create uh, the, the foreign key constraint. But before we even go further, we can see at least for the two factors, everything is said. If I try to create uh, the foreign key constraint right now, what would be the result? Let's try that. Uh, I go to the order item table, and then I go to relationship. Um, I go to create... Uh, a foreign key and I say in the order items table I want item um, sorry order ID to reference um, orders um, ID blah 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 orders reference orders ID field and when I click create here I am I get this error so even if the first two factors are all set to go I still get this error cannot add foreign key constraint my scale said I cannot add foreign key constraints. So let's look at the third factor. So the, fa the third factor is you need to verify that both columns have the same signing definition. If the referring column is int 11 unsigned, so should be the referencing column. What this means is both columns from the parent uh, table where the primary key is should have the same signing uh, uh, definition on the, uh, uh, of, uh, on the column. That means that if the parent table is unsigned, an int, an unsigned int, the uh, child table should also be an unsigned int. Let's look in my case and see what's happening. Okay, let's accept here. We cancel. I go to the order table and um, go to the table structure. Look at the uh, the parent column, and uh, here is the signing information. I can see that. Uh, my ID is unsigned, so let's see the order ID in the uh, child table. You would see that uh, it's 
it's signed because it's not ticked here it, it's not checked it means that it's signed so what I need to do they all have to have the same signing definition so in this case I need to click here so both of them are signed and then if I go back to create um, foreign key constraint let's see what happens this time um, order ID no I need the order ID to reference orders which is the table and then uh, it should reference its ID. Let's create this time. And voila, the constraint has been created. So the next time you have this problem, at least try to check these three uh, uh, factors. One of them is causing you to not be successful in creating this foreign key constraint. And I hope this video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. Your subscription is the lifeblood uh, of this channel. And we just want, I just want to keep on pushing these uh, uh, solutions to normal, quick problems that we always get uh, when dealing with uh, um, computers or technology or something. So guys, I uh, hope this one helped you. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it. Peace. I'm out.